What is more dangerous, the COVID-19 disease or the vaccine produced to protect us, apparently, uh, from it? I ask this question because we're told over and over again by various departments within the uh, Global Ministry of Truth uh, that whilst the vaccines might not be particularly brilliant at stopping us from getting COVID-19 or passing COVID-19 on to others, which is rather the whole point of a vaccine, one would have thought, uh, they do apparently reduce the chances of getting seriously ill, according to Winston Smith at the Reuters Fact Checkers Department, and they definitely keep us out of hospital and subsequently dying, according to Mariana O'Brien at the BBC. Now, much as I would like to think that the fact checkers are impartial, unbiased and thoroughly decent, honest and upright people, a nagging doubt makes me look at the Covid deaths and Covid cases uh, for the month of August in 2020 BV, that's before vaccine, uh, in order to compare them to the month of August figures in 2021 AV, uh, that's after vaccine of course. Now clearly, uh, given the claimed success of the vaccines described by Boris Johnson as the welcome arrival of the cavalry, uh, 2021 should see much lower death figures than 2020, when the uh, virus was daily and luridly presented to us as a, a surging great plague killer stalking the land. But according to the government's uh, Covid data website, the polar opposite appears to be the case. Uh, August 2020 saw just 289 Covid deaths, and out of 5 million Covid tests, only 0.6 of them returned a positive result. August 2021 saw 3,031 Covid deaths, more than a tenfold increase over August 2020, and a 4% positive test result, uh, which is just over a sixfold rise from the 0.6% of 2020. Now, I'm struggling to see how this is not the main talking point on the news at the moment, uh, but sadly so little actual truth is. Imagine a tenfold increase in Covid deaths in the year of the vaccine compared to the year of the no vaccine. I mean, this suggests that the experimental biochemical concoction sold to us as a normal vaccine is either completely useless or worse, is acting in some sort of a dangerous gain of function capacity, which cannot be correct, surely. I can only assume I have made a terrible mistake in my analysis of government data, so I'll link to the government website in order that the fact checkers from Reuters and the BBC can immediately uh, correct me. If they can do so, and I hope they can, I will take this video down. Uh, and just to make their lives a little easier, I would recommend Smith and O'Brien click on the link and then click on the data button before scrolling down through the daily figures for August 2020 and August 2021. I await their impartial and honest response with great interest.